Hi, my name is Mike McCalco. Welcome to the Learn to Play Drums section at freedrumlessons.com. This section is for the absolute beginner, so if you've never played drums before, this is where you want to be. Now, all you need to know how to do is count to four. One, two, three, four. The first thing we want to do is take our right hand, if you're a right-handed drummer, and I want you to play four beats, or four counts, on the hi-hat. Now, if you have a metronome, which hopefully you do, I'm going to set the metronome at 100 beats per minute, which is four quarter notes at 100 beats per minute. And I'm going to do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now that's exercise one on the sheet music provided. Exercise two, we're still going to count four quarter notes. Okay? This time we're going to add the bass drum. If you're not sure what the bass drum is, the bass drum is the one that you play with your foot. Okay, so that's the bass drum. Now we're going to put the bass drum on counts one and three. So without playing the hi-hat, just so you hear how this sounds without the hi-hat, it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, let's try it with the hi-hat playing quarter notes at the same time. Something like this. One, two, three, four. So that seems pretty easy. If you're finding it a little bit challenging, you might want to slow it down a bit. Now I'm playing at 100 beats per minute on the metronome. You might want to start at 60 and then challenge yourself by bringing it up to that tempo. Exercise three, what we're going to do now is we're going to still continue to play four beats on the hi-hat, but we're going to play the snare drum on beats two and four. If you're not sure what the snare drum is, it's the drum right in front of you. Okay, so now let's play four beats on the hi-hat and beats two and four on the snare drum. Something like this. So if you notice, it's starting to sound like something now. It's starting to sound like a beat, something maybe you've heard that sounds familiar in a song that you've heard at some point. Now exercise four in the sheet music provided is a complete, what we call a quarter note or a basic rock drum beat. Okay. Now we're going to combine what we did with exercises one, two, and three. So we're going to have the hi-hat playing all four beats, the bass drum is going to be on beats one and three. The snare drum will be on beats two and four. Now this might sound like a lot of stuff. Before I put the metronome on, let me show you how to try this without the metronome first. Very simple. All you got to do is learn two things. Hi-hat and bass, which is what we've already done. Hi-hat and snare, which is also something we've already practiced. Now if you can do that, you've got it, because the second half of the beat is exactly the same. Hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat and bass, 
hi-hat and snare. Okay, and practice that, then put the metronome on. Something like this. One, two, three, four. So you notice that's pretty cool. You know, it's a beat that is sounding like something that is going to convince people that you're playing the drums. Now, one more cool thing that I'll share with you about this drum beat is it's also called a classic two beat, which is used virtually in many, many different styles of music, simply by speeding it up. Now, without playing with the metronome, I just want to show you how this beat sounds a little faster. So if you could play it almost like uh, a polka style, so you can get all the polka gigs you'd ever want. One, two, three, four. You definitely impress the grandparents with that one. If you play it even faster, you're getting into punk territory. So you can see that this beat is relatively easy. The challenge for you might be to speed it up and to get it sounding that fast. So be sure to go to your drum set, start practicing at slow tempo, speed up, always have fun.